Hello YouTube, Caitlin here, and do you know how to wear a graduation cap and gown? <laughs> this is too hard. Graduation season, and that means it's time to put on that cap and gown and walk across that stage into your future of glory. Ah, hallelujah. But first, let's do this whole graduation regalia thing right. The gown. Graduation is always hot. You're either outside in the blazing sun or you're inside packed between a bunch of sweaty bodies. Girls, you are lucky. You can wear a lightweight summery dress underneath your gown. Guys, you're not so lucky. You should wear a white long sleeve button down and a tie and dress slacks and a belt. Who knew guys dress could be so complicated? Seriously though, grad gowns just don't look right unless you have that collar poking out with a tie. And if you're wearing shorts, you look like you're wearing a dress. Shoes. Bam! What do you do for footwear? Here, guys are easier because you wear dress shoes. You have no other option. If you wear tennis shoes or flip-flops, you look trashy, not classy. And girls, I know you want to wear those awesome four-inch platform heels, but you are going to break your ankle or your neck or someone's leg. Flats, kitten heels, low heels, wedges, pretty much anything that looks dressy and you can comfortably stand or walk in is a winner. So, I can't wear these. The cap. You just pull it flat down on your head. It's gonna dip down to the front and the back and you're gonna feel kind of weird in it, but as long as it's flat on the top, then you got it right. be able to balance all those books that you've read on top of it. For guys, the cap really isn't that big of a problem. For girls, just blah. Like you try so hard to prettify your hair for graduation, but then you have to stick this hat on top of your head that makes your forehead all sweaty, and it gives you horrible hat hair. Some basic do's and don'ts. Do plan your outfit ahead of time because you don't want to be that person who's on the day of graduation at the last minute scrambling and finding out that your dress has a ketchup stain on it. Aww. Don't wear jeans or shorts. That's just a graduation rule. And like I said, guys in shorts plus the graduation robe equals a dress. Do wear the tassel on the right side of your cap because you flip it over at the end of the ceremony once you're graduated. Don't go naked underneath your graduation robe. I know it seems like a really great prank, but you don't want to get expelled or arrested before you actually get your diploma. Do decorate your cap if you're allowed to and it's a large class so that you'll stick out. Don't bring inflatable sex toys to the ceremony underneath your robe. We want classy, not trashy, I say. So that's it. Now you are prepared for a spectacular graduation in style. Are you graduating this year? Tell me in the comments. And remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. See you guys next Thursday. <laughs>